Our neighbors from Tonga, our neighbors uh, from uh, the Solomon Islands, our neighbors from New Zealand and Australia, and everyone that is here today to come and uh, celebrate with us these 50 years of the Golden Jubilee for the Church in Fiji. The General Superintendent of the UPCI Fiji, Reverend Senator Mengele, General Board members, pastors, ministers, brothers and sisters, friends that have gathered here today. We look back at our heritage and also forward to the future. Today we celebrate the blessings of God upon the United Pentecostal Church International of Fiji. And let me recap a bit on our history. In 1971, as he was out in the fields in the middle of Texas, Reverend David John Dobbins heard the word Samoa. As he returned home, he asked his wife, Sister Dobbins, to pray for this as he felt the call of God in his life. After waiting on the Lord, he went to the foreign mission board to inquire about the work in Samoa. And I quote as he said, I am the man for Samoa. The Dobbins were approved and got ready and left for the South Sea Islands in the Pacific to Samoa. In those days, the trip was a triangular trip from Samoa, Tonga and Fiji. When he requested for additional funds to also visit Fiji and Tonga, this was unfortunately declined. However, this did not deter him as he used his own personal funds to reach to these two countries. Surviving so on what he said was just cheese and biscuit and having to occasionally hang his news in his room as the ants do not reach, so the ants do not reach it, he made the trip to the South Pacific. It was in one of those trips whereby in 19 July 1972 that Brother Dobbins left a New Testament salvation tract under the door of a sugar Pentecostal church in Nandi. This was eventually picked up by the late Reverend James Trout, Sister Pauline Dummer's death. Or in other words, Reverend Nandi Bukadama's father-in-law. At the bottom of the track was Brother Dobbins address in Samoa and just had the words right to me. Reverend James Park wrote to Brother Dobbins to visit when he next come to visit, which he did, and the rest, as they say, is history. Hallelujah. The wonderful message and baptism in Jesus' name and landed on the Fiji Islands in Fiji in 1972. And as the likes of Reverend James Park, Usaya Lutine Valu, Selos Lutorovi, Hamil Sodondua, Usaya Navia, Al Fatin Waitam, Chuta Bono, Ratuverta Riki, Tokala Valley, to name a few, received the revelation of the oneness of God and baptized in Jesus' name. Today we acknowledge the children who are amongst our congregation today. Church planting began by those great men of God. We have come out of Trinitarian churches from the Super Pentecost, from the Assemblies of God. So the church in Fiji began from the dead set town of Nandi to the super city of Lotoka to the capital city of Suva and the banks of the Wainimuka River and up the hills to Nanda City. The oneness message burned across the islands of Fiji. Hallelujah. And it crossed the seas to the north and to the Nulebu and the Romaimiti group. The fire kept burning. The first general conference was held in Nauru in 1974. In 1975, the Pentecostal fire began burning in a renowned all-boys school in Nakipangamule School. It was taken by Master Eremite Grover Senior. This is where we saw the lights of Reverend Edward de Mande and Reverend Tim Wadinandamu and the late Reverend Emosi Kroy, who are high school students, got saved from this school. Hence, the seed was planted and the word spread across the Fiji Island from students who returned to their provinces. And today, we are grateful for that. The same fire was ignited again in 1983 when Reverend Tim Wadinandamu returned to the same school as a teacher. The second wave of revival saw the likes of our current general superintendent, Reverend Senegal Nangale, Reverend Lysenia Balnisa, Reverend Simon Rongemburi, Reverend Wesley Mburalemu, our missionary to Kiribati, Reverend Tanya Albetak, and others like me that received the revelation of the oneness and the baptism in Jesus' name. We thank the Lord in the 90s and 2000s. We saw programs such as to keep the fire burning, crusades, 
with the lives of Reverend Easton King and Richard Brown. We have been blessed with visiting preachers from the North American Church for conferences and seminars. We acknowledge our mission team that continue to fulfill the whole gospel to the whole world. Our regional missionaries, past and present, the Pythandras that were, went to Papua New Guinea, the Beitai Action in Kiribati, Noasas and Rendabeta in New Zealand, and others that are, have visited other islands across the Pacific. We also acknowledge our past superintendent, Reverend David John Dobbins from 1972 to 1989, Reverend Lee Roiseri from 1989 to 1991, Reverend Richard Cabo from 1991 to 2000, Reverend Kenneth Reed from 2001 to 2008, Reverend Blount to help in Bible school also during the time that Brother Cabo was here, and our first local superintendent from 2008 to 2020, Reverend Timothy Ndavo, and our current general superintendent, Reverend Senegal Lati Mangele. Also, we acknowledge regional field supervisors, Paul Cook, Mervyn Miller, Carl Bunnell, Richard Denny, and today we have Roger Butler. And as uh, we read some of his names, some have just gone out to be with the Lord most recently. And we thank the Lord for what they have planted. We thank God for the Bible school. While the Bible school was first established in Tonga by Brother Dobbins, some of the students from Fiji were sent to Tonga. But we thank the Lord that uh, he is... Uh, Teaching in Bible school now, amen, and thank the Lord for each and every one of you. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. The X2, the Bible college, they did not complete their Bible school, hence the X2 college was established in the early 80s in Fiji. It started in nine months, then moved to the current headquarters building in Rewanga. Further, it moved to Hudi Road in Nosori, before moving back to its present site. We acknowledge Brother Tom Pentecost from Australia who planted the seed in the working city in the purchasing of the land for the Bible School site. In addition, he was instrumental in funding the farmland in Sawani. Today we have his daughter with us and we convey appreciation to the Pentecost family. The Bible School has continued to grow under the current Bible School Administrator, Reverend Troy Baker. And we have known him. This is my home. Thank you. 